What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and yet another video about bags. Now I'm traveling quite a lot this year so I'm looking for the perfect backpack and sling bag for my travels but also for my everyday use, for camera use and without camera use as well. Um, so I'll be looking at different backpacks and sling bags in the coming weeks. This particular bags are the PG Tech One Go 6 litre and the PG Tech One Go Solo Sling which is I think it's 3 litre and it's a smaller version. I'm really interested in what this can do for me but we'll get into that in a bit. So let's get straight into these bags. I'm going to start with the 6 litre and I do love this bag but I think I will be returning it for pretty much one reason and I'll get into that in a second. So let's just get into what this bag has feature wise. So on the front here we've got this zipper pocket and I've got it open at the moment. It just about fits in an iPhone 13 mini. If you're going for a 13 Pro Max or something it's probably not fitting in there. Um, it is definitely quite a tight squeeze but it's an out outside pocket nonetheless. And that's pretty much it for the front except the little logo on the side there. On the side you do have a little water bottle pocket and that's one of the things that really attracted me to this sling over say the Peak Design sling um, was the water bottle pocket so you can just slot a water bottle in there. However it actually just doesn't come up far enough it's not tall enough so when you start to sling this the water bottle is going to fall straight out and it does actually fall out as well. Um, so this is pretty much useless for a normal size water bottle. You might get away with something smaller like a store bought 500ml bottle or something like that. Um, but quite disappointing that it can't handle just a regular size um, thermos water bottle there. Turn it around to the back then and we have these swiveling strap loops here. Um, I can say this bag is really, really comfortable. I'm not a massive fan of sling bags myself, but this sling is just so comfy, partially because of these little um, rotating strap hooks and partially because on the strap you have this really nice soft padded strap here. Um, I'm sure you'll see a lot of the reviews um, that came out when the bag came out talking about what this stuff is made out of. But it's just a really soft foam and it sits on the shoulder really nicely. And on the back you also have this little handle if you just wanted to hold it by the handle, which you can do. And then you've got a little pocket as well um, at the back as well, which you can put, I don't know, any documents and stuff in. You can put your phone in the back there and that's the bit that's sitting next to your back probably more likely to get a bigger phone in there as well. So opening the bag up now, you'll see there's different dividers in there. Um, and these are the sort of dividers that fold as well. So you can make little different compartments and put them any which way you like. You get two dividers included in the bag so you can customize this pretty much as much as you like. On the back here, you've got a little iPad slot there. Um, this does fit an 11 inch iPad with a case on it. It's a little bit of a squeeze, um, but it does definitely fit in there like so. And on the inside of the lid here we have this zipper pocket, at the moment it's just holding the straps to strap the tripod to the bottom of the bag, which you can actually do. Um, and then you've got these battery compartments going on here, which you can put batteries, SD cards, that kind of thing. And you've also got PG Wytex little coin system here, so if you've got full batteries in there, you can put it over to green, and if you've got empty batteries you can turn it over to red. A little bit of a gimmick, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it, but you can also use these to tighten tripod threads, which is very handy. And that's all that's in that zipper pocket. Now the good thing about this bag is you can actually zip it further down and it reveals some more pockets. So we've got like another little slot here that you can put stuff in and then you've got two mesh pockets that are quite stretchy um, over here as well. Now these little hooks here, I don't know if you can see them, let's put the bag over like that. These little hooks here are meant to attach to these things so that you can't zip it down that far. Let's say you've got the bag on your side and you don't want to zip it down the whole way, um, then these will stop you from being able to do that so you can just flip it over like that um, and not have to worry about accidentally zipping it over too much. Um, it is handy that you can zip it this much when it's on your side and it obviously gives you a lot more room um, for different accessories and things. But I don't know if I'd need the sling bag to actually zip down that far to be honest um, and also it's a bit of a nightmare to zip up which we'll get into in a second. So now I'm going to kick this bag out with the equipment I'll be taking to New York for me to take some photos and videos and things um, and I'm going to come back to you and see what I've got inside. Alright so I've got this thing kitted out now um, with what I'll be taking to New York and I'm just going to unzip this and show you guys what I've got going on inside. Okay so opening this up, water bottle, 475ml water bottle, it does fit in there. Um, it definitely is a tight squeeze um, and it hinders the zippers a little bit more than they're already hindered um, but it's in there, it fits which is good news. Uh, then we've got the GoPro Hero 10 with a little stick on it here. Um, then we've got a, what I'm sort of posing as a Sony ZV-1, the ZV-1's actually up here filming me. 
Um, it's just a little charger thing, which I won't be taking. And then I've got the Fuji X-S10, which at the moment is my go-to sort of photo and video camera. So that's quite a lot to fit in that little compartment. And then in the back here, we've just got um, a portable charger. And in the top lid, we've got a couple of batteries for the XS10 and the GoPro Hero 10. Now I've just put it all back in and it's pretty packed out and it brings me to one of the reasons I'm not so keen on this bag and probably the reason I won't be keeping it and that is the zippers. The zippers at the best of times are a little bit tough but when you've got this bag full to the brim they become just a little bit too much. You know you kind of need to do a few little tugs on it um, to get it closed. Now I appreciate I've got a water bottle in the top here um, but the same is true if you try and put an iPad in there as well, it's just a little bit tough to close. Um, but you know, you sort of, you've got it on your side, you're opening it and you've got to give it a little tug. And so that's just a bit too much effort to open the bag for me. Um, but that's just my opinion. And again, my loadout, if you're not feeling this up as much as I am, um, then you're probably not going to have as many issues. But if you are filling it to the top with either an iPad or a water bottle or something, then bear in mind the zippers are going to be a little bit of a pain. And that's a PG Wartech One Go 6 litre sling. Um, I love the organisation inside, there's plenty of pockets. I do like the fact that it opens up fully as well, um, and that does mean that it flattens as well, so you can put it in a suitcase and carry it around that way. Um, I don't love the zippers, I think they're a little bit hard, a little bit tough to pull sometimes, um, and I don't love the fact that water bottle pockets are there, but they don't really hold a full size water bottle. Um, if I just compare it here to the PG Wartech 6 litre over here, um, the zippers are just a lot more friendly, like you can just, it's so easy. Let me just pack this out. Okay, so I'm going to do a review on this, but I've now got the Peak Design 6 litre packed out in the same way. Um, so it's got the water bottle, the XS10, the GoPro and the ZV-1. And you'll see that even though the water bottle kind of comes up to, right to the very top there, it's just so easy just to close that just like that. There's no tugging, there's no difficulty in the zip, it just zips up really nice and smooth. So yeah, this is kind of why I prefer this. Um, to the PG Wartech, even though the PG Wartech does have a lot more pockets, a lot more customization, organization, um, just a zipper experience for me. And also the capture clip on the front there. But we'll get into that in the review. So moving on now before this video gets too long, this is the PG Wartech One Go Solo Sling. It's a smaller version of the six litre, but it's designed differently to accommodate for the smaller size. Um, and this is the one that interests me a bit more, just because it can still fit a little bit of gear in it, um, but it's also quite compact as well. And the first thing you notice on the front is a kind of water bottle pocket. Now this is the thing that made me kind of interested in this sling because slings this small don't often have a space for a water bottle. Um, so if I get my 475 mil thermos here, just slot that in. It does take a bit of getting used to, but then that just stays in there. And if you tighten the straps enough, it doesn't really fall out either. You can also, if you wanted to carry like a selfie stick around with you or a tripod around with you, you could also put that in the little water bottle slot as well and just tighten those straps up the top there. That's pretty much all you got on the front. If you turn over to the back now, it doesn't have those swiveling straps that the uh, six litre does, but also the straps don't need to be as comfortable. They haven't got the foam on them either, but you're not gonna be carrying the same sort of loadouts that you do in the big um, sling, so it's not too bad. On the back, instead of that big magnet pocket, we've got one sort of medium sized magnet pocket there, and then one pocket which has a picture of a phone on it, and it's not magnetized, so I'm assuming it's meant for your phone. But again, that's an iPhone 13 mini, and that just about fits in there. Um, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, putting your phone in there unless you want it hanging out the top there. The strap, like I said a minute ago, is definitely not as comfy as the six litre, but it doesn't need to be, but it does have this little latch here, so you can just pull and twist and it comes apart. I don't tend to need a little latch on a sling like that, but if you do need it, it is there and it is quite easy to access. I do apologize if it's just gone dark, or the lighting has changed, but I've got this sort of window behind me and the sun comes straight through, so it is an absolute nightmare. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this bag and it's just one zip at the top with a zipper pull. And this zip just feels a lot more, just a lot more smooth. It feels much nicer than the six litre. Um, I don't know if it's because the, you know, the curves are a little bit better. It's not so much of a 90 degree angle sort of thing, um, but it just feels a bit nicer. So inside we have this zipper pocket at the back here. Um, and that zipper pocket has a couple of those little battery you know, stretchy divider things in. Um, and again, the PG Wartec coin system is on there as well. You do have a little bit of a bigger stretchy divider there if you wanted to put something bigger in there. Um, and that's pretty much it for that pocket. If I flip this over, you can probably see it also has like a magnetic compartment going on there, 
which you can put like any big bits in, like, I don't know if you wanted to put like a small tablet, maybe that would fit in there, um, or your phone could probably squeeze into there. Um, and you've also got some more sort of stretchy pockets there for wires and things as well. So there's actually quite a lot of tech organization in here. Um, so you could probably squeeze quite a lot in here if you're using smaller items. So I'm now gonna put like a little loadout in here and show you what I've got. Okay, so we've packed this out now with what I would call my sort of minimal filming setup. Um, and we'll show you that in a second. But the front here, you'll see I've still got the water bottle in. Now the thing is, once this is filled up with different tech and gear and stuff, it definitely is harder to put the water bottle in, um, but it still goes in. So you're gonna need to like give it a little bit of a shove to get that in. But the fact it goes in is still nice um, and it still has a relatively small profile as well. So inside it has what would be the ZV-1, but is now just a charger. Um, I have the GoPro Hero 10 with the selfie stick just slotted underneath there. Again, great organization um, in this bag. So if I take that out. And then we have the ZV-1's wide angle lens from Ulanzi just slotted into there. And you could probably put a couple more bits in there as well. Open up the zip pocket, got a couple of batteries for the GoPro and the ZV-1. Open up the little magnetic pocket there and we've got a portable charger um, and a couple of wires for it as well. And that is pretty much a full minimal setup and there's absolutely no problem using this setup. Um, no problem zipping it up. Um, it's quite comfortable to carry around your shoulder. So this is really good for like either everyday carry stuff, pocket overflow and just minimal sort of tech gear as well. So that ZV-1 setup with the GoPro is probably my just go-to vlogging setup. If I only wanted to vlog and didn't have anything else to bring, I would just take this bag with a ZV-1 and a GoPro in it um, and be done with it. Okay, again, things I like about this bag. The organization is great in it for such a small bag. You've got dividers, you've got zip pockets, you've got stretchy mesh pockets, um, and of course you've got the water bottle pocket, which is the thing that sort of drew me to this. I carry a water bottle everywhere I go. Um, again, if you fill out the bag to the full, it's gonna be a struggle getting something like this in. You might wanna get one of those thin bottles, the memo bottles to go in there um, to keep it flat. Um, but overall, it's a really nice design, very, very, very clever. The back here, I don't particularly like how they've separated these two pockets. I'd rather just have one big magne magnetic pocket like you've got on the six liter, um, and the phone pocket isn't big enough for a lot of bigger phones these days. So I'm not a massive fan of that. And also something I don't like is the design. Now, when I first saw this and first got it out of the bag, I love the design. For a camera enthusiast and someone who just, you know, loves carrying tech and camera stuff around with me, it's a really nice looking tech bag. But as soon as you want to take this to like, I don't know, a family gathering or to a restaurant or something, it looks like you've just taken your camera with you. It's got that sort of shiny tech bag aesthetic to it. Um, and although it's clean, smooth, sort of minimalist, I guess, it doesn't look fashionable. <laughs> That's probably the only way to say it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a problem yet. I'm gonna give it a go um, and see if it works for me. But for some of you, it might be worth going for something a bit more fashionable if you're gonna be carrying around your everyday stuff and not necessarily camera equipment. And that's been the whole video. I hope it's not been too long. I'm trying to be more natural on camera and just speak without an auto cue. Um, this is making my videos quite long. Hopefully it's helped you in some way see what you can load out in these kind of bags. Um, again, the six liter is great. So much organization in this. If you can deal with the zipper pulls being a little bit stiff, this is an amazing bag to have. I really love the Solo Sling for all the organization, how much it can carry, the water bottle pocket, it's all great. Um, I think the only limitation really for me is the fact that I would only really use this for tech and solo camera carry, um, just because if I'm out and about with family, it's just, it's, it's just a little bit too techy, a bit too camera-y for me. So if you're planning on picking up these bags, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It'll be an affiliate link, you pay no more, I get a little bit extra, everybody wins. If you've got any comments or questions about these bags, hit me up down below in the comments and I'll get back to it as many as possible. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, hit the thumbs up button and obviously subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.